That's you. Right. Hi. How are you doing? Paul, good. How are you? Yeah. See. Thank you. Great. So Maya, welcome to Energy Conversations. Thanks so much for making the time to do this. I know you've been working in the energy space for some time. You're now head of the energy transition and decarbonisation team here. Tell me a little bit about that journey. How did you get here and what are the kind of key moments in your career? Actually, I started my career in energy almost two decades ago um, and I started in the IOC environment focused more on commercial and business development roles um, and I joined Mubadla Energy in 2012 and fun fact I actually joined Mubadla Energy at the inception point for when we were Mubadla Petroleum um, in the corporate strategy team and it's been an incredible journey I think to be part of this uh, transformation uh, of the organization. I've transitioned from corporate strategy, now focused almost exclusively on energy transition, decarbonization and sustainability initiatives. We talk a lot about energy transition, don't we? And you know, energy transition is really the driving force in many ways for the strategy and where we're going as a business. So uh, it's a bit of a journey for us, having moved, as you said, from Mubadala Petroleum to Mubadala Energy. We obviously um, have recently had COP28 in the UE, which was a big moment for the UE and of course a big moment for the world. Any perspectives on that, any kind of observations about what that means for us as a business, what that means for the sector in general? You know, when you think about it, climate change is really a global issue. Mm. And what COP28 in particular managed to successfully do is put the stakeholder approach at the forefront. It's not only policymakers um, that need to be part of the conversation on how we you know, deal with the issue of, of climate change, but it's also investors, financiers, uh, companies, producers, um, communities. But this is one of the areas that really requires a firm collaborative approach mm. um, to tackle the issue. What is it that really energizes you? I think there is no better time to actually exist within the energy space yeah. um, because of the depth and extent of opportunities that we see coming forward um, to progress solutions, yeah. you know, to, to addressing some of the world's most critical problems. Um, so this is something that I feel quite optimistic um, about, that we can, in fact, achieve, you know, the ambitions that we've set forward. Um, not only as a company, but also collaborati collaboratively as an industry. You've touched a lot on the aspects of energy transition. Just wondering, to put you on the spot, Maya, are there three words that really kind of bring it all to a point in terms of what energy transition means to you? This is all about innovation, about partnerships, and about transformation. 